Describe how you felt as you watched this video. So video one dealt with a scientist who falsified research regarding breakthrough treatments in diabetes, which clearly is a topic with major public health implications. Um, obviously watching that video and seeing that spiral of events was very disappointing. And like I said, it showed kind of the inevitable downward spiral of events that will happen if you commit research falsification. Um, but it also emphasized that it is a choice to engage in such unethical behaviors. So it's kind of motivating you to not do that. Explain what you would have done in this situation, how you would have reacted or hoped you would react and what you were thinking about as the situation was described. So kind of as I was watching these videos, I was thinking about the videos at the beginning of the module that emphasized how easy it is to rationalize our own little ethical lapses. And I can really see how a minor ethical lapse would lead to a major ethical lapse, like, like overlooking falsified research or especially if it's committed by a superior. Um, so I think in this situation, I would strive to be very conscious of kind of those repercussions in this downward spiral that happens if you commit major research falsification. Um, I think what would really help me is not only thinking of the public health impact that this falsified research could have, um, but also the effect that this would have on my many colleagues who are having to find a new job, who were deceived and having to deal with this stigma of being a part of this falsified research without even knowing it or potentially not knowing it. Um, so if I suspected misconduct at all, I would hope to think I would report it. Obviously, I would not be committing it, but... I would hope I would report it as soon as I felt suspicious. Plus, yeah, I wouldn't really not want my name on anything that I know could be fraudulent in the first place. So a question to kind of spark some conversation. It doesn't necessarily have to be involving research, but I personally haven't dealt with a superior who has committed any ethical misconduct in any capacity that I am aware of. Um, so I was curious if anyone here has dealt with a superior who has been unethical and if you were aware, how did you handle that?